All right, so I got some things at Target that I'll show you here real quick. And uh, some other things at the Dollar Tree, too. And some that I got on Amazon. Basically a whole myriad of places in this haul video. But um, I went to Walmart to look for a steelbook that came out today. Lady was still putting stuff out. She didn't seem to know what I was talking about. So more than likely they didn't get it in. And if they did, she didn't know about it. So I had no way of knowing. So I might go back Thursday because I'll, I'll have to go in that area anyways. Thursday and see if it's there and if it's not. Um, fuck it, I don't need it. Would I like to have it? Yes. But if I don't find it, whatever. Okay, so let's get into... Uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, Dollar Tree stuff first. Dollar Tree's getting movies in again, guys. Um, now, not a lot from what it looks like, because mine only had one box. And there was a couple decent things in there. I grabbed the two best items in that box. Uh, the other things I looked at were, like, they had a two-pack of Hey Arnold the movie and and uh, the Rugrats movie, which I didn't need. Um, there, I have both those on Blu-ray. In fact, uh, I also own the movie in this Hey Arnold box set, right? I don't need that. But it was cool that uh, in the if you were, like, a, uh, if you're a Nickelodeon fan and you didn't have that, that'd be awesome, right? They had some cartoon DVDs that were, they had cool cartoons on them, but, like, I get most of those on Blu-ray or in better collections that have more cartoons or whatever. But I did get Dracula Untold. Um, I've never seen this movie. I don't think, I'm, I don't think I've heard anything about it. I doubt it's good, okay? I really doubt that. But, for a buck. It had its uh, digital code, which I'm covering up, but and it was a buck, so I grabbed it. Um, and then I am a Doctor Who fan. They had Doctor Who uh, Series 6 Part 1, which I don't have any of this. So, yeah, Matt Smith. Love Matt Smith. Um, it's more than time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that, but, <laughs> yeah, Matt Smith, cool. And it's two disc in there. Cool. Nice little set there for a buck. Part of the Doctor Who series. And I'll definitely probably crack in that very soon. Because I always... I need to watch more Doctor Who. I haven't watched a lot. The only Doctor I've seen in its entirety is David Tennant. So... I got Turtle Power. That I ordered this off of Amazon. Uh, Turtle Power, the definitive history of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, this is a documentary that came out a few years ago. Uh, and I've been meaning to get it ever since it came out on DVD. But it... it um, I don't know. Whatever reason, I didn't grab it. I think it was like 15 bucks forever. Dropped to 6 bucks. Got in the mail yesterday. I love how this, this actual DVD looks. And... You know, all the different stuff on the back there. Cool. I love Ninja Turtles. I'm in a really Ninja Turtle mood. I'm watching the 2003 series. I'm watching... Uh, or I watched all of the 2012 series. Got all my reviews shot and recorded. Even though most of those reviews won't come out for months from now. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just excited about all that. So, I'm just excited about Ninja Turtles. Excited about that new movie. Pre-ordered some of the figures from it. I'm excited about all things Turtle right now. Might even go to my comic book shop, see if they get in that Ninja Turtles and Stranger Things comic. I uh, got this, uh, I found this in Target randomly when I went in there. Because I was going, Target's like across from Walmart, so I was just like, alright. Found NECA, uh, I don't buy a lot of these too many terrors, but when I see them, and there's ones I really think are really cool, or they're really cheap. I don't know, this one was full price, but it's Scott Howard! From Team Wolf. Like fucking Team Wolf, man. I love Team Wolf. And you know, it's even, even the guy, uh, it was high on the shelf. And I was asking the guy to pull it down for me, you know. And he's like, and even the guy who pulled it down for me, we were like, sitting there talking for me about, you know, uh, we were sitting there talking about it. And we're just like, yeah, you know, Michael J. Fox, what a legend, you know. So, really, the bass, 
This sucks. This is a great design, but the ball here doesn't actually fit in his hand very well. So if you're going to display it out of box, be weary of that. So he, he can hold it, but I, I what I thought, it, there'd be a, at least a peg in it, like a hole. And then you could just, like one of his fingers or something could count as a, like something to hold it into place. Also, he doesn't stand very well. Because that, that, that pose he's in, which is not great. Um, I do, And also, I will say, he does look very awkward without the ball in his hand. So, some flaws to this figure, but I still think it's really cool. We don't get a lot of Team Wolf stuff, right? Because Team Wolf... And which, which is a shame, because Team Wolf, of course, deserves more love. Freaking love that movie. Yeah, I'm going to put it up here. So he doesn't lose any of his pieces or anything anyways and then this one i actually pre-ordered this off of amazon but i canceled it because i was like oh i'll just wait for black friday because here's the reality guys i pre-order a lot of stuff and i'm trying to cut back and the one of the ways i wanted to cut back is movies that are newer movies i've been getting at full price Day one, it's like, and, and, and to be fair, these are movies I love, and these movies are things I want, but I don't need to be paying $30 for the newest movie when I can just wait till Black Friday, and it's cheap. That's the one thing that sucks now with, some, with a lot of these sales now, I've realized, hey, this fucking sucks, because I already have it, you know, and I paid $30 for it when a couple months later, it's like two bucks or whatever, you know what I mean? Sorry, my phone is ringing. Let me decline that. Anyways. Um, you know, why do I need to pay full price for these things? But this movie. I uh, work in a movie theater. And I got a free poster for work. It's right next to my bed. It's one of my favorite posters on my wall. I have a shit ton of posters. I got a lot of Dungeons and Dragons merch. I got, I'm wearing this freaking t-shirt from the movie. I bought all the figures, right? I love this movie. I saw it twice in theaters. I keep telling people to go watch it. I keep talking about it with people. So when I just saw the 4K at Target sitting on the shelf, and to be clear, they never have 4Ks in the store. I saw it, and I was just like, alright, just, just hand it over. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Man, I, I freaking love this movie. Also, it's nice because uh, today we're having like a family dinner. And uh, I have some family members that probably haven't seen this movie, and it's awesome. And it is one of those movies that'd be fun to show when you have, like, a family event, and you've just got all people sitting around, they're bored, and they're looking for something to watch. So this one is awesome to finally have. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't pass up on this movie. This movie is so good. If you have not seen it, I just... You're still there. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this movie's so good. I just... I am shocked, though. No Blu-ray disc. Just the 4K. Interesting uh, on Paramount's part there. You know, I usually put a Blu-ray disc in there. I'm actually fine with them not doing that because they did include a ton of special features on the 4K disc, which is awesome. So, you know, we're not missing out on special features or anything. Uh, just an incredible movie, and I really freaking hope we see more of this amazing uh, potential that this movie has. Uh, it's just, wow, what a great movie.